Hey guys, Hackersploit here. Welcome back to the Over the Wire Bandit series. Uh, in this video, we're going to be continuing from where we left off from, which was uh, Bandit level 27. And it looks like it's dealing with Git. All right, so let's get started immediately without wasting any more time. Um, so it tells us that there is a Git repository at SSH and it gives us the Git address with the username, which is uh, Bandit 27 Git. And it tells us the password for the user is the same as the user as the, as the password for the user bandit 27. So the first thing I want to do is um, is I want to display the uh, the password for um, the bandit 27 user. So uh, bandit uh, 27 and uh, let me just specify that right now and we get it. Uh, and uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to clone the, uh, the, the directory here. Uh, but let me check if I can actually make changes to the home directory. So test uh, yeah we can so I'm gonna create a uh, directory within the temp folder and we'll call it uh, Lexis test how about that uh, looks like it already exists all right Alexis 34 how about that? Uh, yeah that was uh, was always going to exist so temp uh, and we'll say Alexis uh, 34 and I'll get into that do we have git uh, installed yes we do all right so I'm gonna clone the repository and we already have the user added for us within this entire command. So um, we'll hit, uh, we'll hit enter. Uh, sorry, uh, we need to specify that we're cloning the repository. And I'm going to hit yes here. And uh, what I want to do is I want to copy the password right over here. And I'll paste that in here. And it looks like it cloned the repository for us. So if I list all the files here, you can see we have a directory called repo. All right, so let's check what's within this repository. So uh, I'll just hit enter and uh, let's list all the files. So we have the git folder uh, and we have the readme file. So I'll cap the contents of the readme file and it tells us the password to the next level is and it gives us the password. So I'll copy that and uh, I will move on to bandit level 28. That was fairly simple uh, given that we are this, uh, we're this uh, we have progressed this much through this uh, through these levels although I don't think they are difficult uh, in terms of level but there you go um, so bandit level 28 uh, let's check what this level is dealing with uh, in particular all right so it's also dealing with git uh, so it tells us that there is a repository uh, there's a repository at um, it gives us the address and the password uh, for the user bandit 28 is the same as for the user bandit 28. All right, so let's just get that password one more time. Um, or did we actually paste it in? Yeah, so I'm just gonna hit, uh, I'll just say the variable password is going to be there. And uh, I'll now create a new uh, directory in the tempo, uh, say Alexis. Uh, um, for some reason, my SSH connection is very, very slow. So we'll just say Alexis 35, uh, CD TMP, uh, Alexis, 35 hit enter and uh, we can clone this repository um, so I'll just copy the address here with the username hit enter uh, sorry yes and uh, we'll want to specify the password here just in case I lose it and I want to access it really quickly so there we are looks like it's cloned the repository and uh, We'll, we'll, uh, we'll enter the repository right now and it looks like we have a, a readme file as well as the git uh, the git folder so cat readme I hit enter and it tells us uh, it has some notes so it, tell, it tells us the credentials are for bandit 29 our username is bandit 29 obviously and the password is is not displayed um, so even that we are using git uh, let's see what uh, commits we have uh, uh, we actually have here, but uh, I'm, I'm really wondering what uh, Let's check the log first of all before we touch anything else. So it looks like we have three commits here uh, So the current one um, Branch yeah, so only one branch uh, Which is the master look uh, the latest commit is looks like it fixes an info leak the one prior to that adds missing data uh, so let's try and actually check out this commit. So get checkout. Um, is that working? Yeah, there we are. I'll just specify the hash there, and that was successful. So if I cut the contents of the README file now, 
It, yeah, it gives us the password. So it looks like the latest comment was actually fixing that issue where it was leaking the credentials. So we can uh, immediately access uh, the next level. I, I have to say this is uh, this is much more simpler than I had anticipated. Um, so let's see what the next challenges are. Uh, Git is fairly simple to, to understand, uh, especially if you have experience with it or you're a developer. This will be really simple for you. Uh, so let's check out the next level, uh, which is uh, level 29. And again, it's the same thing. So again, what I'll do is, uh, let me just, uh, we'll just say, just paste in the password there and um, I'll, and I'll create the, the directory within the temp folder. So Alexis, uh, let's see, 87 TMP 87 and uh, clone the repository and let's just copy this here and uh, we'll put that in there yes and uh, we'll just paste the password uh, that we have right over here so I'll put that in there and uh, let's check the repository now uh, so CD repo um, let's see what files we have so we have a readme file um, and also the git uh, the git directory so let's cap the contents of the readme file here uh, so it tells us uh, the username is, it gives us the credentials. The username is bandit30. The password, it tells us there are no passwords in production. Um, so let's say git branch. Uh, no, let's see which other ones we have. Git branch R. All right, so we have three other, no, we actually have three branches. So we have dev, master, and exploits dev. Interesting. Uh, so it tells us we don't have any. Uh, so git branch master yeah so we're currently on the master so let's try dev so let's say let's switch to the dev branch so git uh, checkout uh, it's called dev and um, let's see uh, whether we have any commits so fix username gift to ascii add uh, data let's cut the contents of the readme file before we do that and we get the password so yeah, this is uh, this is fairly simple. Uh, we have dealt with uh, with commits, branches. Uh, let's see what we're dealing with next. Um, so we're approaching the end of this uh, of, of Bandit. Uh, so we'll just hit. Uh, we'll go into level thirty here, and uh, there we are. Finally, it's allowed us. So shell is equal to put that in there, and uh, let's see what challenge we have next. All right, so. Bandit level 30 is also dealing with GitHub. Um, we'll create a new directory under TMP and we'll call it Alexis85 this time. CD TMP Alexis85 um, and uh, we'll clone this repository. Git clone and um, we'll just put this in here. And yes, and uh, we will copy this password and uh, we hit enter. And uh, CD repos, I believe is that what it's called. Yep, and the name was given there. So LSAL cat readme. Let's see, and uh, it tells us just an empty file. All right, so I th hopefully this is where things get interesting. Um, so let's, let's check the log. So we only have one commit um, branch master. Uh, yeah, we only have the master branch. Uh, okay, this is interesting. Um, get read me. Let's just see the contents. It just, just tells us uh, this just an empty file. Um, yeah, that's there's a spelling mistake here, but that's besides the point. Um, and do we have any? Uh, do we have any tags? Ah, we have a tag. Uh, it's called. Uh, secret um, let's see what this tag is uh, oh, sorry git show secret what am I saying uh, git show secret and that looks like the password I'm not really sure although the tag is called secret but we need to try it out so yeah this is fairly simple honestly I was expecting something a bit more challenging so 31 uh, all right so that worked let's see what the next level is all about so 31 
so it tells us there is a git repository blah 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 it's the same thing so we just follow the procedure sorry uh, we'll say tmp about alexis 12 this time <laughs> alexis 12 and uh, put in the address here with the username and uh, put that in there and uh, let's copy this password and uh, all right there we are mm, cd repo and uh, we have an additional file git ignore let's see what's in the git ignore file first uh, so it looks like it's going to ignore a specific file it ignores txt files all right that's interesting um uh, let's see cat read me uh, so it tells me this time your task is to push a file to the remote uh, to the remote repository so the file name is key.txt the content is may i come in uh and the branch is master Okay, so I'm on the master branch. Yes, I am. Okay, so do you have any other files? Uh, but by the way, the key thing is that the git ignore said that uh, we want to ignore txt files. So let's get rid of that right now. Uh, git ignore. All right, so first thing we need to do is we can say echo when we say may I come in, I believe is the correct uh, is the correct syntax. And um, uh, we can just uh, output that into key.txt. And let's see if that did it. So cat uh, key.txt. Yep, so is that the correct spelling? Yes, it is. Uh, the next thing we're supposed to do is we are supposed to uh, we are supposed to push it. So the first thing we want to do is git add key.txt. We've added it, so git commit. Uh, we'll add a comment here and we'll say added key.txt, hit enter, and uh, git push hit enter do it yes asks us for the password which I, I should have kept handy here uh, interesting uh, where is the password where is the password i can't remember where i kept it uh, for some reason my terminal just keeps on uh, I believe is this the password for 31 yeah it looks like anyway let's uh, provide the password here uh, so we're attempting to validate files and well done here is the password for the next level so yeah this uh, you know what I'm not really impressed by this this was uh, very very simple kit is uh, something extremely intuitive uh, so let's check out what the next level is which is uh, level 32 to level 33 Okay, so after all this git stuff, it's time for another escape. So let's see, maybe, do I want to keep this in the same video? Let's see, let's try and log in. So 32, did I copy the password? Uh, let me just do that one more time. And uh, it tells us, welcome to uppercase shell. All right, so you know what, I'm, I'm gonna cut the video here and uh, I'm gonna see you in the next video where we actually we have i think one or two more levels let's see we have only level 33 and it level 34 does not exist so yeah this looks like it's our last level so i'm gonna cut the video here that's so that we have git separated uh, the git level separated and i'll be seeing you in the next video we will be completing over the wire bandit